Well, that sucked. What up, Bronx Country? Welcome back to the channel. Ah, oh, hate that I have to make this video. Broncos lose the Raiders 17-16 in a game that was boring. I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but this it really sucks. Uh, first off, just want to shout out or not shout out, but congratulate uh, Raider Nation for getting the victory. Because um, with this victory. They are now solely in first place at the AFC West. Um, and that's exactly why this game was huge. Like, this game had huge implications because Kansas City lost on Thursday night football, which was really unexpected. <clears throat> and then the Chargers in that shootout today, man, what a game that was. Uh, losing to the Dolphins, they lost 36-34 uh, at home as well. I noticed that a lot of home teams lost today, so, you know, if there is some silver lining, I guess you can lean back on that and be like, okay, well, a lot of the road teams won today, um, but, you know, it just sucks, man. Um, seven games in a row now that we've lost to the Raiders, whether it be Oakland or Vegas, you know. This, this team just same shit, different year. I mean, it's as simple as that. Like, it doesn't matter if you bring in Sean Payton or not. It's just the same stuff. Just like last year, they ended up losing 17-16 again week one. They lost to Seattle last year, 17-16. Um, even though completely different this year, it has nothing to do with that. But just, honestly, I thought things were looking different. Like, the first half of this team, they were looking good. You know, I thought that, Offense had some good drives, especially that two-minute drill that they did to end the first half. I thought that was awesome. Um, but <laughs> that second half scoring three points only, I ain't going to cut it. That was that was terrible. Um, they had chances. They had chances. And also they left some points off the board as well. I mean, Will Lutz misses the extra point on that first touchdown they score there in the first quarter. Honestly, I thought the game was going to be a shootout after that. When the Raiders scored first and the Broncos scored right back, I thought it was going to be a shootout, but no, this game was nothing like that. It was just hard fought, you know, one in the trenches, gritty win. And fortunately, when the Broncos had their chances, could not capitalize late in stretches, just like last year. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe we were going to have to just look in the mirror and say just this this isn't it it's not working maybe these foundational players need to be cut loose and broncos might have to eventually go through a rebuild here i mean i know that's not what they want to do and the broncos don't really rebuild but you know it's this is just the same shit every year <laughs> i mean at some point you got to go through it. i mean the raiders went through it i mean kansas City's went through it chargers went through it i mean the broncos really have not actually went through a full tear down rebuild um <clears throat> they just keep putting band-aids on it getting players that they think are still great or whatever and plug them in and it's just it's not leading to, to uh victories so um yeah i don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens throughout the season but that's why i lowball predicted their record this year i said seven and ten at best because of this shit um i wasn't gonna you know be delusional anymore and you know say oh my gosh they're gonna go they're gonna get 10 plus wins no that wasn't happening this seven out of ten at best if they're lucky man um i mean i guess a good thing about it is they're always in close games they're never getting blown out I mean, they, I think they got blown out, like, once last year. I was on the Christmas game. But they're always in close game, but they're always on the losing end, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought Sean Payton I, – yeah, I did fall for it. I thought Sean Payton would be a, a fix for stuff like that, but obviously not. I mean, Broncos have their drive, you know, there with, uh, like, eight minutes left in the fourth. 
and uh, yeah, they're, they're unable to do anything. Now after that, the Raiders got the ball back like five minutes, and they just killed the clock. I mean, obvious thing to do. If you're able to do it, great, and that's that's what they did. So, um, <clears throat> guess we can go into the stats here. Uh, let's go on the scoring real quick. So yeah, starting off the game, nine twenty-eight. Left in the first, you had uh, Jacoby Myers with the uh, three-yard catch from Jimmy Garoppolo. Makes it 7-0. And then with 44 seconds left in the first, uh, little Jordan Humphreys catches a five-yard pass from Russell Wilson. He, he was looking good. He was actually moving out the pocket. He was using his legs. And, you know, that's the Russ that we were hoping to get last year. You know, I thought Russ played a lot better in this one. Um, and, yeah, right there. That extra point, man, that came back to haunt us, did, did it. Uh, that's where Will Lutz missed his extra point. It'd be 17-17, you know. Maybe the game's outcome is different, but the Raiders were in field goal range to end the game. So, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe maybe they would have won 20-17. I don't know. But um, second quarter, Dan Carson, 24-yard field goal was good. 10-54 left. And then 12 seconds left. That's when Cortland Sutton caught a five-yard pass from Russell Wilson to give the Broncos the lead. Will Lutz makes the extra point, making it 13 10 i'm like okay this is the offense we want this is what we want to see let's get some more of this in the second half did we get any more of that not really the only thing we got was in the fourth quarter that third quarter nobody scored um very defensive in that third quarter uh will lutz 24 yard field goal uh will lutz actually had a field goal attempt i believe in the third quarter and uh he missed. It was like a 55-yard field goal. And the sad thing is, is that Brett Maher with the Rams, he made like a 54-yard field goal, and we cut him loose. So, yeah, maybe that move is coming back to bite us. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, um, makes a field goal there. Makes it 16-10, and then Jacoby Meyer, six-yard pass from uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. With 634 left. That's when the Raiders got the lead. That's when I started getting a little nervous because the Broncos' offense wasn't really generating anything. And, like, the Raiders completely took the momentum there. Making it 17-16, even though it's like, okay, we can go down and get a field goal. I was just not feeling no momentum. I felt the breath. Just the air was taken out of the stadium at that point. Um, and sure enough, it was, you know. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately... This just isn't a team that can overcome stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and this loss, I'm a little concerned. Not going to lie. Um, games like this, you know, where they had a chance to be sole, have sole possession of first place in AFC West and you lose at home, it's just, it's really hard to recover. Um, obviously, hopeful that they can, but it's going to be real rough to uh recover from that they're gonna have to you know go on a winning streak and when vegas comes around again you got to beat them in vegas you can't lose them twice if you lose them twice kiss the playoffs goodbye um you gotta at least split with each of your divisional opponents at least because it will come back to bite you especially if they you're in a race with them for a wild card or something and they are 2-0 against you and they have, they're going to have the tiebreaker, you know? So they they absolutely have to win this next matchup against them. And thankfully, it comes week 17. So, you know, they have the entire season to get, you know, ready, get right, and get that victory when that happens. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know. We'll see if they even get to a point where it's going to matter at that point. It might not even matter. So, <sighs> Just sucks, man. Um, it's hoping that this year is going to be a little different. Hoping we can snap that streak, but now it goes to seven. Now we got a losing streak of seven to the Raiders, and we have a losing streak of 15 to Kansas City. So that is the world we live in, Broncos country, unfortunately. Team stats, so Denver really, really was even with the Raiders though like total yards Raiders had 261 and the Broncos had 260 um 
I mean, I guess you can say that the Raiders left points off the boards as well because they did have a turnover. They threw, or Jimmy Garoppolo threw it in the end zone and it was batted up in there and it came down. Kareem Jackson intercepted it. Uh, Denver, though, another positive of this, they had zero turnovers. That was not like that last year. Um, so even though they lost, that's a great stat right there. Hopefully they can continue to take care of the ball. I mean, I thought Russ was good in this one. I thought he was great. But, you know, the defense at points, a little suspect, which we're not really accustomed to seeing. This Broncos defense has always been something to count on, but it was I wasn't counting on them in, in the clutch moments. First down's 22 apiece for both sides. So, yeah, this matchup very evenly matched. Just luck of the draw, man. And it, it went the Raiders' way by a point, you know. Time possession, the Broncos had 32 minutes and 8 seconds. Raiders at 27.52. Go into uh, individual stats here and then uh, individual players, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was really, it was really even across the board. I guess you can look at it that the Broncos have improved, but you know, they just ain't there yet. But like I said, if stuff like this continues, they keep losing these close games, man. They might have to look into blowing this thing up. Um, but anyway. Uh, Jacoby Myers, though, he did get a big hit from Kareem Jackson. Uh, hopefully he is okay. That was pretty ugly. And unfortunately, that was the worst time for that to happen because it gave them the first down, almost securing the victory for them. Um, so, anyway, getting that out of the way. I guess we'll go over the Raiders first. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, he had he was 20 for 26, 200 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. He actually played pretty well. Um, oops. Uh, Josh Jacobs, the Broncos did a good job against him. He had 19 carries. He only had 47 or 48 yards rushing, my bad. And his longest run was seven yards. So they did a lot better job against him this time around. Jagoby Myers, though, he had a pretty good game against them. Nine. Catches 81 yards. He had two touchdown catches. Devontae Adams, six catches, 66 yards. I mean, that's doable. Like, you can afford to give up that much. And, you know, it was a winnable game for Denver. They had chances. They left some points off the board. And even when those chances came back, they did not take advantage of them. And the Raiders, they hung around. You know, they hung around. Even when the Broncos were able to score, making it 16-10, they were still in it. And if they got that touchdown, I knew it was going to be rough. And it was, because they got the touchdown and definitely killed the momentum that Denver had. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk about for Vegas. For Denver, Russell Wilson, he was 27-34, you know. He only had uh, missed, what, seven passes? which is pretty darn good. Uh, he had 177 yards passing, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. So, you know, he had a pretty good game. And uh, he got sacked twice. Fortunately, we weren't able to get a sack on Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, and he had a 108 quarterback rating. And then Jimmy G had a 107.9. Uh, Devonta Williams, 13 carries, 52 yards. He had Samaj P. around with eight carries, 41 yards. So not too bad, but... You know, that, that's like average right there, I guess. Your 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 best receiver, though, this is where it was bad. Uh, Samaj P. Ryan, he was, he had four catches, 37 yards. That was the most any receiver had today. Troutman had 34 yards. Sut had 32 yards. They were they really shut him down. They, made, they knew that he was probably going to be the number one target without Jerry Judy. And I could definitely tell the passing game without Jerry Judy was... <laughs> It was going to be rough, and it was. Brandon Johnson, he had a couple good plays, 31 yards. Dolch was 22. He got hurt. I know Caden Stearns got hurt. I don't. It did not look good. I do not expect him to be back anytime soon, unfortunately. I don't know about uh, Dolch. We'll see on that. But, yeah, it was uh, – it stinks. This This loss really sucks, so – Anyway, 
think I'm going to wrap it up there. Don't really have anything else to go over. <laughs> Starting to own one. What's new? Um, fortunately, that's just how it's been the past few seasons. But, you know, I'm sure I'll get over it. I'll be uh, a little more optimistic tomorrow. But right now, just not feeling the vibes. This This sucks. So, well, Raiders, you can come out of the closets now. Uh, y'all didn't show up for the preview video. I know you'll be here for the recap, so go ahead and lay it on me. Lay it on me. Uh, I look stupid for predicting the Broncos to win 30-20 in the last one. I, I That was dumb. Um, I don't even know why I predict them to score more than 20 points. They weren't able to do that last year. So, <laughs> yep. I got a reality check once again. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. On that, stay safe. Be good. Go Broncos. This sucks.